Hi everyone, I'm Connor Wahlberg and today I'm going to be talking to you about WebWave web design software. And I've been building websites for years and years and years. And honestly, there's so many tools out there, it can be kind of tough to select. Now, one of the main reasons I'm recording this video is because I run a membership where I teach photographers how to do SEO. But to do SEO, you kind of need to have a website that you can actually work on yourself. And this seems to be a pretty common problem that a lot of photographers face. They have these websites that they kind of know how to use, or maybe they can't do half the things they want to do, and they're getting stuck with tech hurdle after tech hurdle after tech hurdle. Now, with WebWave, I've kind of been waiting the last year, year and a half, just to make sure the company was going to stay around. Because you just never know for sure, especially if a company gets its start off a lifetime deals website like AppSumo, you can't be sure it's going to stick around because it's a very early stage. But this company has been around for a few years and I figured it was time that I could go ahead and make a review about this software and just talk about what I like about it. So with all that being said, when it comes to SEO and when it comes to web design in general, I've always been a firm believer that the best platform is the one that you can actually use the one that makes sense to you that you understand and that isn't you know complicated it doesn't take a bunch of time to learn or to make simple changes and i also realize that a lot of websites have limitations and these limitations can be very frustrating some of us want to have complete control over things we want to be able to do things in a way that is like drag and drop and that's what webwave is all about so with all of that being said SEO and SEO pros will often tell you that WordPress is the site you have to be on. I believe WordPress probably is the best out there when it comes to its structuring and how you're able to adjust your site, um, all the technical aspects that you could do in SEO, WordPress is probably the best. That being said, I don't believe that those technical aspects are the big and most important details, especially for a photographer. What we really need is a web platform that we can work on and that still has a good page speed and all of that. And with WebWave, that's what we get. The page speed score isn't through the roof. It's like a 58 or something like that, which isn't e excellent, um, but it's not bad by any means. It's actually on par with Squarespace or Wix. You know, when you look around, you might hear some SEOs say, oh, that's, that's really bad and those sites never rank. I have reviewed thousands of photographers' websites and over that time, I have noticed that for the most part, the top ranking sites are Squarespace or Wix or WordPress. All three have an equal shot at ranking and it really comes down to the content on your site, um, that you're active on social on occasion, links that your site has. There's all these other factors of SEO and really the page speed is one of the smallest ones in my opinion. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and review this software. I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you basically what it takes to set up a website from start to finish. And we can use AI to make this process so fast. And that is probably the best selling feature of this tool. Finally, the last thing I was going to say is the pricing for WebWave is amazing. For $5 a month, this is if you buy a year plan, otherwise it's $10 a month, you can build your entire website. You can have your email hosted there. It has all the capabilities that you could possibly need, even the cookie disclaimer that pops up on your site is built into it. Things that with WordPress and other tools, you need to buy a plugin or you need to set up external plugins that can cause the site to break down and all of these other issues. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this tool. So here we are in the Webmasters panel, and this is kind of where we can have all of our different websites. We can build new sites. You can build as many as you want for free, and you can even use the AI tool to build as many as you want. So in here, we can click new website. You can start with a blank page, super simple. Um, that's if you want to do everything on your own. I don't recommend going that route because there's so many great templates that are free. You can just click on any of these and you'll have a site. But really, the power in WebWave starts with Generate with AI. And all we're gonna do is simply, simply type in a prompt here. So I am a wedding photographer in Vail, Colorado. And my, my brand color is FFCC33, something like that. I think this is a pink, so we'll find out real quick. So we click Next, and this is gonna spin for a second, but while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, this is the site I've been building lately. Um, this is for a photography business for myself, and I'm just kind of using this as a test, but looks great. 
everything's super clean. And this was all generated with AI, like instantly. It even generated the other pages that are in here. I haven't played with any of this yet, but it's generated everything. Uh, remember when I was talking about how WebWave just kind of has everything you need and at a great rate? It has forms and all of that with, you know, these forms. A lot of web tools will charge you for submittals. They charge extra on kind of everything. And this is just built in and it just works, uh, which is very cool. So here it is generating some templates for a potential website. Now I look at these and I go, which one do I like? And it turns out that that color I entered is actually like kind of a golden yellow. So from here, I would pick one, I click generate a website, and then in a few minutes, the website will appear. But instead of doing that, I'm just gonna jump into the site that I've already been working on. And one quick note before we go any further, there's a lot of great support. So I had a question just the other day and I typed it into their support, had an answer within a few seconds. They also have a great community on Facebook and people are posting multiple times a day and they are actually answering the questions and they're also releasing updates every single month with tons of upgrades to the website. So it just keeps getting better all the time. This is a platform that, you know, I hope it sticks around. You never know for sure, but for, for the price and for how well it works, I mean, it's, it's kind of a no brainer. This is a drag and drop platform. And so this, this whole site, first off was once again, was generated with AI, which was amazing. And it only took a few minutes. Now let's say I actually want this to look a little different. You know what? I'd rather have this sit down here in most web tools. This would be a pain to figure out like this can be very tricky. And if you're not too good with, web development or anything, this might be a nightmare. So, but now, you know what? I also want to add an icon. We're going to go with just this plus sign right here and I want it to be white. And I select it and there's an icon. Done. It's that simple. Like it is a drag and drop interface. You can literally drag an icon. You can drag a photo, anything you want right here. Now, all of the settings in here, if you've done some web design work, there's all kinds of settings over here that you can play around with and you can, you're, you're going to need to play around with them a little bit to learn how it works. But once you get the hang of it, it's very simple and direct and it's fully customizable. Anything you want to do, you can do over here. So alt text important for SEO, right? Just type it in right there. It's nice and simple in some tools, some web designers, it's kind of hidden in. I've built sites with WordPress. I've built sites with Squarespace, Wix, uh, I go back to Microsoft front page in the late nineties, uh, Dreamweaver, fully custom coded sites. I currently use framer for my own website and I love the tool, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it to most photographers. I think it's too complicated to figure out. This bridges the gap and where I think WebWave fits is you have these tools that are super developer oriented, that are complicated to use. Then you have these super user friendly tools that lack a lot of features or it's tough to do anything you want. This is right in the middle. You can do everything you want without being a developer and it's, it's all still easy to use. So it's pretty much that, that perfect middle area that, that I think we're all trying to get to with web design. Um, they've kind of nailed it here. Next, let's say we wanted to change this image. This is another cool feature Unsplash. You can search for any image you want and you can click it and add it to your library and it will fill the image in, or you can upload your own here or use icons, right? So it's all just very intuitive. It all makes a lot of sense. There's also a lot of cool features like adding animations. So if I hover over the image, it can have a crossfade or a slide or a cube. These are advanced features that generally are, you know, require some serious skills to implement. The one thing I would recommend is if you do add animations, it will slow down your site. So generally I just kind of avoid that sort of stuff because I want my site to be as quick as possible so that people can find what they're looking for. All right. So now let's say I wanted to add a new section. So it did a great job with AI, but I really think I could have something else right here. This is what makes things super easy when companies have templates like this. So I click add section above and here's all the menus. So we already have a menu at the top, but if I wanted to change it to a different style, there's tons of options here. There's heroes, um, text with image, list of elements, services, uh, realizations. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Products, pricing, all this stuff. There's also e-commerce. You have to pay a little more, but you can have a full e-commerce site here. 
But well, let's say what I wanted to add here was a testimonial. And I like the way this one looks. I click add, wait just a few seconds, there it is, done. On this, I can go in here and click background sites. I can have no background color. I can have my own color. I can go in and simply click on images and change them. I can change the amount of testimonials if I want. Um, I can use this to just drag it down. This is something that in a lot of tools, you're trying to figure out margin padding, all these things, but in, in WebWave, it's like, oh, okay, there we go. Got more margin. Oh, you know what? I want a little more space down here, done. It's that simple. So now the last thing I wanna show you, because I think pretty much the rest of this is very self-explanatory, and this is just a review of what I think is great about this tool. One thing I will say that I'm not a fan of is just getting into the website. There is a little bit of a loading phase, so it might take a minute to load your website to be able to work on it. The actual site itself loads quickly once it's published, but just to work on it, there is a little time that you have to wait. That's one of the things I would nitpick. And also I would say sometimes that just having so many settings on the side can be a little complicated and overwhelming for people who are just learning or who, you know, just want to keep things simple. So if this is too much, a website like Squarespace might be a better option or Wix. Um, right here, I can also go into the individual page settings and do the meta title and meta description. A lot of this focus for me is SEO. Some of these sites that become easy to use don't have the features that you need to do SEO. I can also set a color palette so I can kind of keep things looking nice. Um, I can go down here and look at the layers. So that's each section. So here's the services section. I can change the name of these. Here's testimonials. It's just a really simple way to organize and structure your site. In addition, there's a full featured blog and content management system. And you can go in here and create an a template, however you want each blog post to look. And when you use that template, it's going to drop everything in automatically and you go in and you change the text and pictures. It's super simple to use. The store is the product side. Um, there's tons of SEO features in here and it even has an easy way to, you know, set up your Google search console or your Bing search console. All of this stuff is pretty intuitive and simple to set up. Setting up your domain name, I found that to be easy, but one thing I had to do was activate the SSL in here. It didn't do that automatically. And when I went to my site, I was like, why is it not secure? Uh, little things like that sometimes will happen. So then in this editor, if you want to swap to a different page, you just click it up there. There it is. We can start moving things around. You can see I'd added an icon here too. From here, there's something that you really want to pay attention to. And I'm going to go back to the homepage and show you what that is. That's the optimization for mobile. From an SEO standpoint, mobile optimization is vital because Google crawls the mobile version of the internet. If your mobile site is janky, not working correct, uh, text is overflowing off the page, then it's not going to rank well. So let's look at the mobile view of our site. All we do is click on this. Now we can see this icon, look, on mobile, it moves to a weird spot, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move it right there. Now, that's how it's going to look on mobile. And you'll notice it didn't move that on the desktop view. Now, here's the landscape phone view. So, I, you know, I like that there for there, that one as well. This one, it's showing way down here. And the text is up high. Well, maybe I'd rather have the text up here for this page. You know, I can, I can customize how it looks on each version. And that really makes the mobile side of things super easy. It also has these nice lines that kind of show me the width of the phone and like the safe space. And then in addition, there's a new feature here that they've just released where I can first off use the AI assistant, which will edit the text for me. They also have an AI article writer that will write the text for you for articles built into this tool and include it at that low price. But the thing I wanted to show you was responsive website design. So on this right side, I can click this button, generate responsive design. It's going to be, I can do the active section or the whole website. And what this is going to do, and it doesn't work perfectly yet, but a lot of times it works pretty much perfectly. I click start. It just went through this section and adjusted things so that it would look right on mobile. Now, did it do it perfectly? No. These, this text in each box is still too wide. We want to bring that in so it fits within the safe zone on each one. But when you're building stuff on your own, so let's say like where I had that circle with the plus sign in it, I added that icon on the desktop view. 
in that section, I could have clicked here and generate responsive design, and it would have actually likely fixed all of those issues. It would have fixed all the issues that I had when I went to the other view. All of this works so smoothly. And I really think that they've um, struck a good balance with this tool between usability and features. Over here, you see we can add a counter. Google Maps is integrated. These are, I mean, if you try WordPress, if you've ever used it, some of these things can be mind boggling to add or require extra plugins. And then your site just gets heavier and heavier and heavier. It's just built in here and it all works very smoothly. So here's the million dollar question. You already have a website. Do you change to WebWave? Well, that's a tough one. And I'm going to say the answer that every SEO says about every question ever, it depends. It depends on, do you like your site? Are you happy with it? Is it at a point where, yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a pain to change things, but you're able to do it and the move is going to be huge? Do you have a site that has 5,000 pages? Yeah, I wouldn't even consider swapping that over. Are you just starting out or are you really unhappy with your current site? Then maybe you do want to switch to something like WebWave. But that's going to be up to you and it's going to be case dependent. And really, I always go back to the best site is the one first off that serves your customer or your client the best and that you're capable of upgrading and using. And even if it's a little bit of a headache to upgrade or change some things, is it really worth fully switching platforms? It's a much bigger commitment than you may know. And from an SEO standpoint, can be a bit of a nightmare if you don't have someone guiding you through the process. Um, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give WebWave a try if you're looking. Give a couple tools a try that you're considering and use a free trial and just play with them before you ever commit to any web platform. You don't want to just dive into something, you know, because you saw a video or you spent three minutes on it. Like get in there and really play with it and make sure it does everything you want to do before you make any, any big changes to your website. Um, please also like, subscribe to this video. If you did like this video and you'd like to see more, and other than that, I hope that you've enjoyed this and, you know, learned a lot about WebWave and whether it's going to be a good fit for you or not.